What is up, YouTube? I'm Devon DaVinci, leader of the Renaissance crew, and you are watching DaVinci Reacts. Now, today I'm going to be getting into some more George Carlin videos. Now, you guys know I've done a couple of George Carlin uh, comedy segments already. Sometimes they can be kind of hard to upload because, unlike most comedians, George Carlin's videos, they don't copyright the actual video itself. They copyright the joke. So, one video might have five different copyrights in it because different companies own different jokes from George Carlin. I don't know how that works exactly, but that's just how it is. Like, the last video I did about people who ought to be killed. Like, that video had like seven copyright uh, claims in it because everybody had a copyright for, like, each individual type of person that should have been killed. It's weird. But um, sometimes that, that can make it hard to upload the video because most of the people tend to be cool with allowing a video to stay up there's always that one copyright claimant that will just block the video <laughs> so I don't know exactly um, if this video will do that if it's chopped up then you'll know that's exactly what happened but you know for the meantime I'm gonna try to keep it all in one piece now this is called George Carlin on time I don't know exactly well I have a feeling he's just gonna talk about time <laughs> that's usually how these videos tend to work but Let's jump into it. This looks like this was from the 80s. Yeah, I'd, I'd say the 80s. Anyway, let's go ahead and check this out. Also, I did a Does reaction to Epic Rap Battle. I get Carlin verse. Not so much the time itself, but the Prior. people. Bother me for the time. People come up to me on the street. I'm sure you've had this happen to you. People come up to you and say, what time is it? Well, they might say, what time is it? <laughs> I shouldn't get into these ballads. <laughs> You've had people come up to you and say, What time is it? What time is it? As if you personally were responsible for keeping time. <laughs> you know, I feel I feel honored, first of all, that they thought I was the man in charge. Am I, I my time's keeper? You don't see official timekeeper on here, do you? I don't have the time, of course not. Do you have the time? That's another way they say, Do you have the time? I say, uh, no. <laughs> I don't believe I do. I certainly didn't have it this morning. <laughs> Did you leave it somewhere? Well, do you have the time? No, I don't have the time. I use a little of it, like everyone, you know. But I don't have it. I think, I think the Navy has it. In Washington, isn't that? They keep it in an observatory, that's right. Sure, they let out a little of it each day. <laughs> Not too much. They wouldn't want to give us too much. Just enough. Time. Sometimes they'll say, do you know what time it is? And I say, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to disappoint them, but there is no time. There is no time. I don't mean there's no time. I mean there's no time. When the hell is it? We made that whole thing up. There's no time. We made it up. It's a man-made invention time. There are no numbers up in the sky. I've looked. They're not there. <laughs> Obviously, time does progress. It's just... I, I know I'm explaining it, and yes, I know it's a joke. It's not to be taken serious. This is just me making an observation about some stuff. Time is pretty much just a measurement of our... Is our way of measuring the progression of time, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> like, how can you define time without using the word time? I don't know, this seems like a challenge to me. I'm sure somebody in the comment section could do it, but it seems like it'd be tough to try to define time without using the word time. Up there. We made this stuff up. When is it? When the hell is it? When are we, I ask you? When are we? Sometimes we think we know where we are, but we don't really know when we are. When the hell is it? All the time zones are different. Every calendar you run across is different. They'll all give you a different answer. These are calendars. These are made to, to keep track of time. <laughs> Everybody's got a different one. Chinese are way up there in the five and six thousands. Hebrew calendars way up in the five and six thousands. We're up at about 1970-something. Shit, this ain't a couple of weeks these people are off. Oh, is, is this the 70s? Thousands of goddamn years that are missing. <laughs> How did they do that? We don't. We don't know when the hell it is. It could be the middle of last month for all we know. <laughs> I mean, time is so, we've got it down so perfect that every four years we have to stick in an extra day just to make sure it still works. 
And we call it February 29th. Bullshit, it's March 1st and I know it. <laughs> it just feels like March 1st. You can't keep track of the time. What's the sense? I'll give you an example. There's a moment coming. Not here yet. Still on the way. It's in the future. It hasn't arrived. Here it comes. Here it is. Oh, shit, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> There's no now. There's no now. Everything is the near future or the recent past. Yeah, that's funny. I actually heard someone say something about that. Uh, they said that right now in this moment, you are both the oldest that you've ever been and the youngest you're going to ever be again. You know, stop and think about that. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, when I first heard it, I was like, oh, that, that is an interesting. That's like one of those high moments. I don't, I don't get high or anything like that, but that's one of those moments that's just like, Whoa. <laughs> Future or the recent past. But there's no present. Welcome to the present. <laughs> Gone again. It's just so imprecise. We don't even care to use the minutes and seconds and hours that we've been given. Everybody's very vague about the time. You say, what time you got? Uh, I got, uh, I got just after. <laughs> Just after. Jeez, I must be slow. I had going on. <laughs> and where did that imprecision begin? Why is it we're not so sure? I know one of the clues that happened to me was when they started telling me about moments when I was a kid. They were trying to teach me how to tell time. And of course, you can't tell time. Time tells you. But they were trying. They were trying to show me. On the big hand, I said, I don't have a big hand. Never mind. <laughs> Look at the clock. And the clock is so wonderful. There's so much emotion attached to a clock face. I hate digital clocks. Digital clocks robbed me of all the emotional experience of the spatial <laughs> relationships on that face of the clock. Isn't it true? I mean, don't you always feel that this half hour, when it comes down from 12 down to 6, goes by a lot quicker than this half hour when it has to come up fighting <laughs> gravity all the way. I know, it does go a lot quicker. God, oh, I got there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you this, if I only have a half hour to live, I want it to be this one, man. <laughs> it's just a little bit longer than that one there. It's vague. That's all I'm saying. It's very vague how we treat time. We have all these wonderful expressions. We say now. Now is an interesting one. When? Now. You want that now? Yes. Well, would you like to try again? <laughs> or sometimes just now. Just now. Did you hear that? What? Just now. You may, must mean just then, don't you? <laughs> Yes, just then. But there it goes again. When? Now? No, not now. now. <laughs> Pardon me, do you have the time? When do you mean now or when you ask me? <laughs> the ship is moving, Ruth. <laughs> we have a lot of these vague terms. Right away, immediately, at once, lickety split, just like that, nothing flat, drop of a hat, no time at all. As quick as you can say, Jack Robinson. I'm sure you've done that to people. I'll be back before you can say Jack Robinson. Jack Robinson, hi, you're not back. Uh, <laughs> I want to know what a New York minute is. A jiffy, a <laughs> jiffy, or a flash. Which is quicker? A jiffy or a flash? I think there are two flashes in a jiffy, myself. <laughs> but God knows how many jiffies there are in two shakes of a lamb's tail. <laughs> And why did they use two shakes of a lamb's tail? What's wrong with the basic unit of measurement? One shake of a lamb's tail. We can do our own arithmetic. Thank you. Belched a little there. <laughs> Tried to swallow that one. Then we have words like soon. Soon. That's a very emotional word. A lot of potential for drama. And that word soon. 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 <laughs> Is your mother coming home? Uh-huh. <laughs> when? Soon. <laughs> Real soon. That's some horror type soon stuff. She can. Sooner than you think. <laughs> That's kind of a spooky one. <laughs> Sooner than I think. <laughs> That's a little bit like before you know it. <laughs> I 
I'll be back before you know it. He did it. Holy Christ. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Only George Carlin can break down time and make you question the basic physics of the universe. And we go on with these terms that we use, these vague terms of time. One of these days, before long, any time now. Well, that's true. Everything's going to happen any time now. Any day now. Yeah. That's kind of a snotty one. Any day now. Hey, I'll be giving you that five bucks I owe you, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> any day now. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, now and then, once in a while, from time to time, in a little while, in a little while, well, it'll just be a little while. That's a wonderful one. I just love that. It sounds so benign. Just a little while. Couldn't hurt you, could it? You can wait a little while. It'll only be a little while longer. <laughs> just a little while. <laughs> That's so different from a short time. Short time. Sounds almost terminal, doesn't it? <laughs> you only have a short time. Whereas you have a little while. <laughs> oh, I'd rather have a little while than a short time. <laughs> yeah, we got long ways we measure time. We got vast distances of time we measure. People will say things like... I was about to actually make a comment about that. A little while does sound like it's not that big of a deal. Until you need to do something. Then when someone says, oh, it'll just be a little while... A little while becomes a lot longer than it would be if you just said it in any other context. Measure time. We got vast distances of time we measure. People will say things like, Kingdom come. I, I'm going to be standing here till kingdom come. <laughs> Shit, I don't have that on my watch. <laughs> Doomsday, you say? Doomsday. Till the cows come home. <laughs> well, that's an easy one to understand. That's long about dusk, isn't it? If you leave them out overnight, they burst. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a long period Kinda of time. Kind of cows forever. is Carlin eating. Some people will tell you, guys, I've been standing on this line forever. <laughs> Look at this, Dave. This man has been standing on line forever. <laughs> he looks fairly fresh to me. <laughs> Almost like an eternity, people will tell you. It's, it's almost like an eternity, as if they had experience. <laughs> eternity. Now, you must have a favorite period of time. I have some favorites. I just want to try a few of them on you. It isn't easy uh, to select a favorite period of time, so many of them are attractive. But there are little periods of time that, um, that you might relate to. Of course, the most basic period of time I feel is five minutes. That seems to be the one everyone chooses. If they need to think of a period of time real quickly, they just go, five minutes, just five minutes. I'll be there in just five minutes. Give me five minutes, would you please? Just, would you just give me five minutes? Well, are you kidding me? I can fix that shit in five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. That's all most people want, five minutes. A good, solid, nice period of time. You can do anything. Let me sleep minutes. for another five minutes. I mean anything. Even things you really hate. Uh, you could probably do it for five minutes. Hey, let's go talk to Ted. Are you kidding? Ted's an asshole. <laughs> Look, just five minutes. <laughs> okay, let's give it five. Not ten. Ten I can't make. Now you're getting into double digits. You're starting to fool with my head. <laughs> Time. Five, ten minutes. Fifteen minutes is popular, you hear 15 quite a bit, but it's, it's sort of an institutional one. It's kind of an official time period, 15 minutes. It has a touch of regulatory uh, quality to it, doesn't it? It sounds like something you're not supposed to do or have to do for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. I like 20 minutes. Doesn't that sound free compared to 15? 15 <laughs> minutes. 20 minutes. I'll be back in 20 minutes. Gosh, what's he going to do? <laughs> <laughs> he could have gone further into it, too. That was actually funny. Ah, um, oh, damn. Did I just say what uh, Richard Pryor kind of joked at in the epic rap battle? <laughs> I might have just uh, subconsciously done it. <laughs> but uh, anyway... Yeah, like I said, only George Carlin can actually like do a 
a video and actually have you questioning the laws of physics. Because, I mean, obviously a lot of what he said was true. He took a lot of literal stuff and broke it down. I guess George Carlin is the type of person that gets you to ask questions about stuff that you never really thought about asking questions about. Like, hmm, that's actually interesting. Yeah, why is that the case? But, um, yeah, I like watching George Carlin. Um, I just don't like getting copyright claimed by, like, nine different people. <laughs> so, if this video gets a lot of copyright claims, I'm actually going to take a picture of it and uh, post it somewhere so you guys will know what I'm talking about. But either way, this video is funny. This video... Um, it's making me interested in checking out more of George Carlin, so I will probably see some more videos of his in the future. There's a lot of comedians I'll check out in the future, and I've seen a lot of your requests. I will go ahead and check those out. If you don't know where to get the requests at, these are the social media pl platforms that I'm actually on. I have Twitter, I have Instagram, I have Twitch. I will be streaming on Twitch. Well, by the time you watch these, I'll have already gotten done, but... I stream once a week on Twitch. I try to stream twice a week on YouTube. Sometimes I won't be able to do it depending on uh, what type of plan and stuff I have. Because a lot of times, I, well, I don't have a schedule right now. That's the problem. I need to develop a schedule because a lot of times I'll make announcements for, oh, I'm going to do a stream at the, on this day. And then before the day comes, something will come up. And then i end up overbooking myself pretty much. So... I have to come up with some type of solid schedule that I have, like I ho I, ho I hereby, as if it is an official 100% schedule that I have to go by. But until then, I d will be streaming on Twitch today, which is Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Normally it's Wednesday, I had to push it off a day because I was working on a, uh, a project with King Rutherford, which I'll probably be announcing in the future sometime, but anyway, that's been this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Uh, let me know what you think about George Carlin and about this uh, comedy segment. And until then, I'm Devon Da Vinci. I look forward to seeing you in my videos. And I'm going to give you the deuces. You've just been a little bit more enlightened. Deuces.